I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. 234715 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 2344-59 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that. No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> After all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? Who's this? Herta? Yeah. <laughs> she looks so young. She was already famous in the last Amber era, no? She has to be at least a hundred years old. She's a member of the Genius Society and an emanator of Noose the Erudition. She can probably age backwards if she wanted. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall that over half of the Genius Society's 80-odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who lived for a dozen days or so? What was their name? Um... <laughs> That's pretty normal. Aren't the immortal bosses in games always waiting for the protagonist to come kill them? <laughs> Immortality is not always a good thing. <laughs> oh, what an alliance joke. Matter Legion become so weak. I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? Oh, this lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here.
Good times never last. Time to say bye. Other people's mess isn't in my job description. You know, Kafka? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates, not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed that this fancy technique of yours is usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kinda wanna know mine. Fine, I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. So that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. This hint is useless. Who knows what's in the brains of those following the erudition? area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. <laughs> that breathing sensation. Remember it. this time. Stand still. <laughs> this combat needs optimizing. At this speed, too slow.
Hold it. Someone or something is up ahead. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. May as well kill them all. Took the bait just like that. That breathing sensation. This will take long. Can you let me have some fun this time? <laughs> May as well kill them all. <laughs> huh. More enemies. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Don't hurt. That breathing sensation. Remember it. You took the bait just like that? single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into Herta. It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary... This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. I can see the whole space station on the surveillance screen. But not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. Got a master plan? I'm all ears. 
It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, I see. Hurtis collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. What's this? Item number 211, Line Spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? Strange thing number two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Yeah. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for her to Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herda can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said, it must be you who makes it. Wanna give him a new name? <laughs> There we go. How much does he remember? Hm, I'll remember you. Time to get up. Do you remember me? <sighs> Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving. And you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. 
Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? Lovely. Hey, remember what you feel in this moment. As long as you know in your heart where you're heading, you're guaranteed to see the ending of your story. That's the you I like. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silver Wolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. <laughs>